Lord, we want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you. We can't thank you enough, Lord. So we thank you. Oh, we thank you, Lord. Oh, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. I want to say thank you. I thank you. I thank you, Lord. Yes, I do, Lord. Oh, I said thank you. I thank you. I thank you, Lord. Yes, I do. I just want to thank you. I thank you, Lord. What did you do for me, Lord? You woke me up this morning in my right mind and started me on my way yes you did Lord you woke me up this morning I thought about you first thing Lord and I said thank you for restful sleep thank you I thank you Lord yes I do I thank you thank you Lord yes Lord I thank you you put food on my table clothes on my back a shelter over my head yes you did I just want to say thank you thank you thank you Lord was your grace that brought me so safe thus thus far and it is your grace that will Lead, lead me home, yes, Lord. It was your grace that taught, taught my heart to fear. And your, your grace will lead me on home Alleluia Alle, Alleluia Ah, hallelujah. Ah, alle, hallelujah. 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 Ah, Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Alle, alleluia. Ah, alle, alleluia. Ah, alleluia. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's give God a hand of praise. <clears throat> Thank you, Reverend Dr. J. Dwight Jackson. God bless you, Pastor. Hallelujah is the highest praise this is the day the lord has made yes, sir. let us rejoice and be glad in it oh i can't help but to say god is good all the time and all the time He's so good god is so good yes sir well beloved let us go to micah amen mm -hmm. chapter three and look at verse number one and we do want to welcome you to emmanuel temple cme church in Victorville, California, where we do say God is good all the time, and yes. all the time God is so good. Yes, and I must say, we're in the, where the sun never stops shining, That's amen. Right. That's right. And not the S-U-N, but the S-O-N, yes. amen. The Bible says, and I said, here, mm -hmm. I pray you, O heads of Jacob, and ye princess of the house of Israel, mm -hmm. is it not for you to know judgment? Come on, man. Well, giving honor to God mm -hmm. who sent his son Jesus Christ to die on the cross of Calvary mm -hmm. for all of our sins. And we thank God for the gospel, yes, the, so. good news, the good news, that on the third day, the third day. He got up from the grave with all power yes, and let that good news go everywhere. Amen. Everywhere. And then before I go on, let me say happy Mother's Day to everyone. Amen. Happy Praise God. Happy Mother's Day. And all mothers, you are deserving. You are worthy of whatever celebration that your family gives you. Amen. Amen. We want to use as a subject title on this morning, guilty. Amen. Uh -oh. Amen. Not a long title, amen. Guilty. But a conclusive title. <laughs> guilty. Very guilty. Amen. amen. It is very important that we know exactly where we are. Mm -hmm. So important. Yes, sir. So I must do a quick recap. <laughs> All right. God gave Micah three messages. Yes. I like to say three sermons are, are three prophetic words. Mm -hmm. We have just completed the first message, which was in chapters one and two. Mm -hmm. And now we're in chapter three. Yes. The second message is in chapters three through five. Are you hearing me this morning? I hear you, Doc. 
The third message will be in chapters 6 and 7. Mm -hmm. This gives us a perspective, help me Holy Ghost, yes. of where we are this morning. Yes, sir. We're entering to chapter 3. Mm -hmm. And then chapter 3 is divided into three sections. Verses 1 to 4, mm -hmm. verses 1 to 4, mm -hmm. Micah addresses the rulers, all right, all right. the prince, yes, those in charge. Okay, all right. Can I go there? there? And then verses 5 through 8 uh -huh. addresses the prophets. Right. That's the second section in mm -hmm. chapter 3. And then verses 9 through 12 addresses the princes, mm -hmm. the priests, mm -hmm. and the prophets, all those who are in authority. Yes. I share this with you that you might know where we are. Yes, sir. Well, this morning, we're just going to deal with section 1 of chapter 3, which deals with the rulers. Mm -hmm. Can I go there this morning? Yes, Sorry to say it, but they are all guilty. All guilty. <laughs> the prince, the prophets, and the priests, God says all three are guilty. On that note, let us begin. Yes, sir. <laughs> Micah chapter 3 and verse number 1. I just want to read that in the NIV version. All right. It says, Then I said, Listen, you leaders of Jacob, mm -hmm. you rulers of the house of Israel, should you not know justice? Mm. Can I go there this morning? Yeah, bro. The emphasis being, should you know justice should if you know anybody justice? else knows justice? Mm. The New Living Translation says, you're supposed to know right from wrong. You're supposed to know. Supposed to know. Yes, you sir. got it, doctor. Amen. Yes, Micah was crying out for justice. Yes, sir. He was the... Dr. Martin Luther King of his day. <laughs> the judges and the magistrates yes, and the rulers and those who are in authority are, yes, are guilty of holding back justice. Yes, sir. This is the same group that Isaiah talked about. Yes, sir. In Isaiah chapter 1 and verse number 10. Isaiah says, hear the word of the Lord, the ye rulers of Sodom, Come on give ear unto the law of our God, ye people of Gomorrah. Yes, sir. Uh, Isaiah is using some very strong language here. He, he said, you rulers, you just like the rulers of Sodom and Gomorrah. That's what he's saying. Amen. You know what happened to them. Amen. <laughs> Yes, Micah asked in verse number one, is it not your job to know justice? Wasn't it your responsibility to do justice? Shouldn't you know right from wrong? If, if nobody else knows right from wrong, those who are in authority ought to know right from wrong. Yes, sir. Can I go there this morning? Micah wants the leaders to reflect on their behavior, reflect on their evil ways. He wants them to think things over that you have a responsibility. Come on, now, Run with me this morning. Yes, Since they sat and judged others and saw the consequences, they also who judged, come on Holy Ghost, will be judged remembering the consequences when you break God's law. Yes, if the 
people you judged were punished, what makes you think you're going to get away? Uh, God is going to hold you accountable. Yes, sir. Those who are in authority are in positions of leadership. God holds them accountable. Mm -hmm. Can I go there this morning? Yeah. Romans chapter 2 and look at verse number 1. The, the Bible says, you therefore, Paul talking here, have no excuse. Somebody shout, you don't have no excuse. Amen. You, don't have an excuse. you who pass judgment on someone else for at whatever point you judge the other, you are condemning yourself because you who pass judgment do the same thing. Oh, y'all don't hear me this yes, morning. Sir. He says, you who judge others are doing the same thing you're judging them for. Oh, God's plan for the future are given not just to inform them, but to motivate them to change their lives on the basis of God's plan for them. If they don't change, there will be some consequences. How many know that if you keep on doing evil, that there will be consequences later on? Can I go there this morning? In perverting justice, the leaders were acting like wild beasts. Mm -hmm. Can I go there? Yes, sir. The leaders are the one, ones who should know justice and, and carry out justice. And, and they should know right from wrong. But God says the rulers hated the good and loved the evil. Mm -hmm. Can I say that one more time? Mm -hmm. The rulers hated the good yes, and loved the evil. The way they denied justice, it showed that they did not know the Lord. They did not have a knowledge of God. They didn't obey the word of God. Your behavior will tell on you. Faith without works is dead. Can I go there? Every time you may say one thing, but your behavior will tell what you believe. <laughs> your behavior will give things away. Am I right about it? Yes, sir. Your, your behavior will speak loud about what you believe. I heard someone say, I, 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 I can't hear you for seeing you. Amen. <laughs> Come on, somebody. <laughs> Can, can I go there this morning? <laughs> your, your, your behavior is speaking something about you. Can I back it up this morning? Mm -hmm. They did not love the Lord because their behavior showed them. Yes, sir. Old Psalms 97 and verse number 10, the, the Bible says, can I go there this morning? Yeah. Oh, you who love the Lord hate evil he preserves the soul of his saints he delivers them out of the hands of the wicked if you love the lord then you're gonna hate evil that's right oh can i go there this body the uh their 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 beliefs were shown in their behavior that they did they didn't fear the lord they didn't reverence the Lord. They continued in their evil ways. They continued doing wrong even after they were warned. Watch out now. Uh, can I break it down this morning? Can I back it up this morning? Back it up. Proverbs chapter 8 and verse number 13. The, the Bible says, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. That's right. Pride. Come on and arrogancy yes, sir. and the evil way and the forward mouth do I hate does your bible say that this morning a leader is supposed to hate evil a leader, a leader is supposed to hate 
evil policies. A leader is supposed to hate evil way. What is God saying to the United States of America this morning? Oh, let's break that down. We're supposed to hate evil. Um, if anyone should know the meaning of justice, it ought to be those who are in power, those who are in authority, those who have the responsibility of leadership positions. Micah in section one in verses one through four is dealing with the leaders first. Yes, sir. The leaders are supposed to lead with fairness right. in their governmental administration. Leaders are supposed to lead with equity mm -hmm. in their governmental administration. Yes, they must be concerned not only for the rich, but they must be concerned for the poor also. Yes, sir. Uh, we expect our leaders to know right from wrong. That's right. And to do that which is right. Yes, to be fair to everybody. Yes, to be equitable to everyone. Can I break that down? Break down? To practice justice for the poor, for the needy, for the widow, for the orphans, for the middle class, for the upper class, for everybody. Treat everybody just the same. Yes, sir. Oh, am I right about it this morning? Right but Micah says they hate the good and they love the evil. Yes, sir. That's why this morning Micah says you have incurred the wrath of God. Mm -hmm. Oh, God is looking at us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God is watching us. No one gets away with anything no. with God. No. Uh, the earth is the Lord the and the fullness thereof. Yes, and the, eye, the eyes of the Lord mm -hmm. goes to and fro throughout the earth. Yes, oh, can I bring in Dr. J. Vernon McGee here? Uh, McGee says, quote, it is amazing, friend. How we can see another man's sin, Watch out. Watch out. Watch <laughs> but overlook out. own. Overlook own. <laughs> can I go there this morning? Yes, sir. This is the reason why God says to these leaders in Israel, mm -hmm. "You have judged others right. for their misdeeds, yeah. but you are doing the same thing." Yes, uh, can I break it down this morning? Oh, Dr. Jackson, can I break it down this it morning? Down, brother. Uh, brother Hudson and Sister Hudson, can I break it down this morning? Uh, Sister Ann and Sister Estella, can I break it down this morning? Uh, brother Russell and Sister Stenson, can I break it down this morning? Dr. Dove, can I break it down this morning? How many judges give out harsh, harsh sentences to young folks for using drugs? And they Come are on, privately God. drug users themselves. Come on, uh, they pull off their robes Come on, and go home and start doing cocaine yes, sir. and smoking marijuana yes, sir. Uh, and doing all kinds of stuff drinking and drinking alcohol. Yes, sir. That's where I'm going this morning. <laughs> um, and they sentence the alcoholic. Yes, sir. Oh, for doing uh, a DUI yes, and, 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 and getting drunk. Yes, but as soon as they pull off the robe out, and go home, they pull out the liquor yes, and get towed down themselves yes, from the floor up. <laughs> Can I go there this yes, morning? Sir, the Somebody truth. shout, you're doing the same thing. The same thing. Uh, Micah says he is the God of justice. Micah says he will shake you up. Can I go there? Yes, sir. Micah says he will clean you up. Can I go there this morning? Yes, sir. Or clean you out. Can I go there this morning? <laughs> yeah, some of y'all want Hosea to come back now, don't you? <laughs> y'all crying for send Amos on back here. Amen. Back. Yeah, Lord. Micah's pretty rough this morning. 
and we got to watch it now. We, we need to know there are fine distinctions that we don't want to miss in this first section. Yes, sir. Uh, things that we need to know. Yes, sir. In chapter 2 that we just went through, the oppressors, the, the oppressors were denounced for their oppression. Yes, sir. But when we go in chapter 3, the judges are being denounced for making things possible for the oppressors to oppress. Yes, sir. Can I go there this yes, morning? Sir. Oh, yeah. They, they were making a, making a way for them. Yes, sir. The oppressors could not do what they did if the system was not corrupt. That's right. Can I go to this body? Yes, sir. The leaders made the system corrupt so the oppressors could do their oppression. Yes, sir. Oh, I hope you got it this morning. Yes. Sometimes you, you have to hold those in power accountable for allowing evil to go on. Hallelujah. To commit crime in our communities. Yes, sir. Can I go there? against certain races of people, against certain folks, the people in power have allowed it to happen. Oh, can I break it down this morning? Uh, Dr. Jackson, can I break it down this morning? Uh, Brother Hudson, Sister Hudson, can I break it down this morning? Uh, Sister Ann, Sister Stella, can I break it down this morning? Uh, Brother Russell and Sister Stenson, can I break it down this morning? Oh, Dr. Dove, can I break it down this morning? As a boy, I heard Dr. Martin Luther King say, the law can't make a man love me, but it can keep him from hanging me. And I think that's pretty important. important. (laughs) (laughs) Can I go there this morning? Uh, Those who are in power have the responsibility to use the power yes, to make things safe for everybody else. Can I go there this morning? Micah chapter 3 and verse number 2, the, the Bible says, hallelujah, who hate the good. Oh, that's in the Bible. And love evil. I got to say it one more time because y'all might think it's not in the Bible. Yes, sir. This is a hard indictment against the leaders yes, sir. who hate good, hate good and love evil, who tear the skin from my people yes, sir. and the flesh from their bone. I want you to hear me this morning. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. God uses some of the strongest language to describe the leader's barbarous spirit. Come on, preacher, what you talking about? Their cruel spirit. What you talking about, preacher? Their brutal spirit. Savage spirit. Vicious spirit. Harsh spirit. Merciless spirit. Treatment of the poor. God is saying you're downright indifferent towards the poor. Yes, sir. Can I go there this morning? Amen. You could care less about the poor folks. Yes, sir. Can I go there this morning? Amen, I want you to hear me this morning. God is going to judge the leaders for their merciless ways in how they exploit the poor. Yes, sir. The defenseless folks. Yes. Come on, somebody. Yes, the helpless folks. Yes, sir. All those young folks behind bars. And you know it's nothing but free labor That's called it. slavery. That's it. That's it. Oh, prison capitalism. Behind bars for the same things that you doing. Yes, sir. Oh, I know y'all want Amos to come back. Oh, no. No. God says you didn't get away with it. Didn't get away with it. God says you can't sweep it under the rug. No, sir. God uses symbolism. God uses 
pictorial language. Yes, God uses creative expressions. Yes, sir. I got to go to this morning. God made Shakespeare. God created Michelangelo. Yes, sir. God created Nico Giovanni. God created Langston Hughes. Yes, sir. God can paint pictures with words better than any of them. Yes, sir. He got clear language that you might know through symbolism what he's talking about. He says, you pluck their skin from off of them. Oh, their flesh, you tear off the bones. Yes, Oh, what is Micah talking about? He's talking about the moral depravity of his day. He's talking about the spiritual corruption of his day. Yes, sir. Oh, can I break that down this morning? He said his day is like Sodom and Gomorrah. So you look around, he says there's no fear of God. There's no reverence of God. There's there no respect of God. God, everybody's doing what they're big enough to do. Yes, sir. Can I go there this morning? Please hear me this morning and take this home with you. And this is the genius of God in words. Yes, sir. God is saying you're being, tell the leaders this, you're being ruthless, merciless, yes. and you're being cold in your treatment. Their vicious conduct towards the poor. And they're taking advantage of the innocent. Yes. And they're slaying them like you slaughter an animal. Yes, sir. Can I go to this body? Yeah, uh, God is saying that which is going against, hallelujah, they're, 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 they're going against God. Yes. Anytime you go against uh, poor folks, you're going against yes, God. One author said, God must love poor folks because he made so many of them. Amen. Yes, sir. Come on, somebody. Can I go there this morning? They were being merciless. merciless. Mm -hmm. They were being vicious. Yes, sir. They were being greedy. Yes, sir. Taking advantage of the poor. And I think about this morning, all those homeless people on the streets yes, sir. living in tents. Yes, sir. Some don't even have tents. God calls them ravenous wolves. They attack God's sheep. Uh, looking to tear the skin off the body. God is saying they are cold hearted. Yes, sir. Can I go there this morning? The rulers were more like ravenous beasts than like shepherds. Oh, they did not care about human beings. God is painting a picture better than Michelangelo of their cruelty. Yes, Can I go there this morning? Yes, Instead of being faithful shepherds who protected God's flock, they attack the sheep. They fleece the sheep. They took lambs and made lamb chop out of them. Yes, sir. Can I go there this morning? Oh, he used the imagery of killing an animal. They skinned the sheep alive. They butchered God's folks. They chopped up God's sheep in making profits for themselves. Oh, they made stew out the folks. Can I go there this morning? God says, I saw you. Uh, can I go there this morning? The unjust leaders were like hunters who killed and ate the prey, which means the leaders took undue advantage of God's people. And God says, I saw you. <laughs> God watches over his sheep. God watches over the little ones. <laughs> Can I go there this morning? God watches over the sparrow. <laughs> Can I go there this morning? God got his eyes on the sparrow. Yes, Can I go there this morning? <laughs> if God got his eyes on the sparrow, I know he watches over you and I. <laughs> Can I go there this morning? Yes, God is saying, 
I saw you. I saw you. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. neighbor. Oh, neighbor. Oh, neighbor. I, saw I saw you. That ought to make you feel good this morning. That God got his eyes on us. And God is looking over us. Yes, sir. In this passage, I want you to hear me this morning. We see a progression. Oh, God is beautiful with the human language. Uh, way better than Shakespeare. Yes. Can I go there this morning? Uh -huh. He says they tore off the skin. Yes, sir. And they weren't satisfied with tearing the skin off. No, no. Then they ate the flesh. Ate the flesh. Uh, but then they weren't satisfied they with eating the flesh. The flesh. Yes, then they chopped up the bones. Can I go there this morning? <laughs> They made a stew out of God's folks. Yes, sir. Can I go there this morning? They kept getting worse and worse until God stepped in and had to protect his folks. Can I go there this morning? God will protect the child of God. God will protect the saint of God. God will protect you and I. I think God deserves a hand clap this morning. Yes, sir. Am I right about it this morning? Yeah, I got to go there this morning. Sodom and Gomorrah lets us know that man can fall real low. Real low. Ah, Dr. Jackson, I heard McGee say that man can fall lower than the animals. Yes, sir. Oh, Holy Ghost, I need you to help me this morning. Yes, sir. Can I backtrack just a little bit more? Yeah, Dr. Vernon McGee said man can fall lower than the animal. Yes, sir. Can I go there this morning? Dr. McGee said there's some things that man does that even the animals won't do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I need some help this morning. Am I in a praying church this morning? Men can fall real low. Real low. They are shed innocent blood. Uh, they'll be brutal. Yes, merciless, yes, cruel, yes, cold-blooded, hard-hearted. How many know that man will kill innocent folks? Yes, sir. Uh, in, the in the legal system, they took bribery. Yeah, they, they could be bribed and justice would go out the window. Can I back it up this morning? Micah chapter 3 and verse number 11. The Bible says, her leaders judge for bribe. I know y'all don't see that this morning. Come on her priests teach for price. Woo. I know y'all don't hear that this morning. And her prophets tell fortunes for money. Mm. I know y'all don't hear me this morning. Oh. Yet they lean upon the Lord and say, is not the Lord among us? <laughs> no disaster will come upon us. Some folks think they can do anything they want to do. Yes. And then, then nothing is going to happen. Can I go a little bit further? God says, I saw you. I saw you. Somebody say, I, I saw you. Can I back it up this morning? Micah chapter 7 and verse number 3, the Bible says, Both hands are skilled in doing evil. Oh, y'all didn't hear me this morning. The ruler demand gifts. The judge accept bribes. Can I go there? The powerful dictate what they desire. They all conspire together. Is that in your Bible? Oh, my, my, my. The Bible said with both hands, they do evil. With the left and the right and the right and the left. Can I go there this morning? Well, secondly, because of theft from the poor, they were like ravenous beasts. How many of those folks will even steal from poor folks? Uh, how many of those folks will cheat poor folks? Yes, Tell your neighbor, neighbor, but I saw you. I saw you. <laughs> Can I back it up this morning? 
Ah, uh, Micah chapter 2 and verse number 8. The Bible says, Lately my people have risen up like an enemy. You strip off the rich robe from those who pass by without a care. Like men returning from battle. To they were neighbor, but I saw you. <laughs> Oh, yes, Lord. Well, not only like ravenous beasts did they steal from the poor, but they also oppress the poor. Can I back it up this morning? Can I back it up this morning? Back it up. Micah chapter 3 and verse number 9. The Bible says, hear this, I pray you, ye heads of the house of Jacob and prince of the house of Israel. Watch it now. That abhor judgment and pervert all equity. Does your Bible say that this morning? Well, hallelujah. Not only like ravenous beasts did they oppress the poor, but they also shed innocent blood. Tell they were neighbor, oh neighbor, but I saw you. Uh, they killed innocent folks. Uh, can I go there this morning? God didn't need for them to have a camera on them. Uh, he saw it anyhow. Uh, can I back it up this morning? Uh, Micah chapter 3 and verse number 10. The Bible says who build Zion with bloodshed. Somebody shout bloodshed. And Jerusalem with wickedness. Somebody shout wickedness. Yeah, they were taking lives, innocent lives, shedding blood, innocent blood. Can I back it up this morning? Micah chapter 7 and verse number 2. The Bible says, come on, Holy Ghost. The good man is perished out of the earth. Oh, y'all didn't hear me this morning. Can I go there one more time? The good man. I dare you to shout good man. Good man. Uh, the good man is perished out of the earth. Does your Bible say that? And there is none upright among men oh what an indictment right there there is none upright among men can I go there this morning they all lie in wait for blood can I go there this morning they hunt every man his brother with a net does your Bible say that this morning oh God uses descriptive language and how these leaders ravished the poor uh, took advantage of the needy uh, they were against the defenseless folks but I'm glad to know this morning that God is saying I saw you somebody shout I saw you uh, tell your neighbor neighbor oh neighbor I saw you, which means you didn't get away with it. Can I back it up this morning? Uh, Brother Russell, can I back it up this morning? Up. Dr. Jackson, can I back it up this morning? Up, brother. Uh, Brother Hudson, Sister Hudson, can I back it up this morning? Sister Ann, can I back it up this morning? Sister Stella, can I back it up this morning? Oh, Brother Russell, can I back it up? Sister Stinson, can I back it up? But Dr. Dove, can I back it up? Everybody, can I back it, up? back it up? Oh, Micah, chapter 3 and verse number 3. The Bible says, who also eat the flesh of my people. Can I go there this morning? And flay their skin from off them. Uh, and they break their bones and chop them in pieces. As for the pot. And as flesh with the cauldron. Does your Bible say that this morning? Well, this is very descriptive language. Yes, it is. Very symbolic 
language. God says, I saw it. Thank you, Jesus. God pictures the civic leaders as treating the poor like animals, butchering them like an animal, slaughtering them like an animal. No justice in the courtroom. How do we know it's bad when you can't get justice in the courtroom? Can I go there this morning? How many know it's bad when you see folks railroaded into prisons? Yes, Can I go there this morning? It's like having their skin torn off them, God says. God is saying it's like having them innocently butchered. Can I go there this morning? The, the, the leaders treated the poor merciless. Can I go there, Holy Ghost? <laughs> uh, they took their rights from them in the courtroom. Yes, can I go there this morning? Yes, How many know that some folks will take your voice away if they could? Mm -hmm. Can I go there this morning? How many know some folks will try to take your voting rights away if they could? Yes, they uh, am I in the right place this morning? Right place. Am I on the right grounds this morning? Right am I in the right country this morning? Right am I in the right book this morning? Am I in the right spirit this morning? Do I have the right word this morning? Are we hearing from heaven this morning? Is he a God of justice this morning? Is he a God of righteousness this morning? Does he sit high this morning? Does he look low this morning? Does he walk with us this morning? Does he talk with us this morning? Is he watching over this morning? Is he speaking to us this morning? Is he filling, to, filling us this morning? Is he stirring in us this morning? Does he have right over us this morning? Does he own this world this morning? I think he deserves a hand of praise, yes, a hand of thanksgiving, a hand of worship. Somebody shout praise the Lord this morning. Lord. Somebody shout thank you Jesus this morning. Let's clap our hands this morning. This is a God of justice, a God of righteousness, a God of peace, a God of authority. He deserves a hand clap this morning. Oh, we on good ground this morning. Micah is a God, talking about a God of justice. God says, I saw it and you didn't get away with it. Oh, God has a way, hallelujah, of making things right. Oh, he's in my spirit, he I'll sit high, but I look low. Yes, and my eyes go to and fro throughout the earth. Oh, come on, somebody. God has expectation of us. And God is looking at us. Yes, Faithful leaders are supposed to look after God's people. Oh, faithful leaders are supposed to protect God's people. Can I go there this morning? Faithful shepherds are concerned about the welfare of God's people. The benefits of God's people. Can I go there this morning? That's why God sent Hosea, sent Amos, and sent Micah, and sent Isaiah to protect God's folks. Can I go there this morning? Oh, David was a good shepherd. That's right. Oh, David was the essence of a good leader. He watched over God's folks. God took David from shepherding real sheep. And then put him over the house of God. How many know that God has that kind of power? Yes, sir. Can I back it up this morning? Help me, Holy Ghost. First Samuel chapter 17 and verse number 15. The Bible says, but David. Somebody shout, but David. But David. Uh, went and returned from Saul to feed his father's sheep at Bethlehem. Oh, he started off very lowly. Can I go there this morning? Don't despise small beginnings. Can I go there this morning? You, you don't know what God may have for you later on. Can I go there this morning? You may start off small. Come on, with nothing at all. But if you put your life in God's hand, God can elevate you. Uh, that's a sideline point I want to throw in there. Somebody said elevate this morning. Elevate. 
Can I go there a little higher? Second Samuel chapter 5 and verse number 2. The, the Bible says, in the past, while Saul was king over us, you were the one who led Israel on their military campaigns. Somebody talking to David this morning. Yes, and the Lord said to you, you will shepherd my people Israel. Can I go there? Uh, David is getting elevated right here. David's getting a promotion right here. And you will become their ruler. Don't tell me God can't elevate you. To David, neighbor, God has elevating power. Oh, God elevated David, and he can elevate you too. God promoted David, and God can promote you too. Am I right about it? God expects his leader to feed the sheep of God. Feed the sheep means feed them the word of God. Guide the sheep. Protect the sheep from dangers. Oh, there's wolves out there. I need y'all to hear me this morning. There are wolves out there who want to destroy the sheep. Oh, I heard Jesus say, the thief comes to steal. Can I go there? Yes, sir. To kill and to destroy. But I come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Am I right this morning? Yes, sir. The devil would, hallelujah, lead you astray in your life. Saints of God, I pray you hear me this morning. You got to protect your mind. Can I go there this morning? The devil is after your mind. And you got to protect your mind. Somebody give me a shout this morning. Protect your mind. Protect your mind. Oh, can I go there this morning? Oh, the devil got many wolves out there. Oh, in Acts chapter 20 and verse 29, the Bible says, hallelujah, for I know this, hallelujah, I don't think I gave that to you, Crystal, for I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in. Oh, Dr. Dove, you know what I'm talking about. Among you, not sparing the flock. Can I go there this morning? The devil is after the flock. The devil is after the, the sheep of God. Oh, if he has you, he's not worried about you. He's worried about the one who's following God. So you have to guard your mind. I want you to shout this morning, guard your mind. Or if you're in the living room, the bedroom, the back room, whatever room you're in, the kitchen, I want you to shout, guard your mind. Oh, it's the job of leaders to teach that word of God so that God's sheep will be protected from the wolves. Can I go there this morning? Leaders must, must teach the word of God so the saints of God know how to protect their minds from the enemy. Oh, because the devil will talk to you. Oh, can I go there this morning? Oh, it's our job to feed the sheep of God. The reason why we go in the Bible word by word is because the sheep got to be fed. Uh, when the sheep are fed, they can gird up their loins. Can I go there this morning? They can put on the helmet of salvation. When the enemy tries to attack the mind, you got a helmet on your head. Oh, I need some help this morning. Jeremiah chapter 3 and verse number 15. The Bible says, come on, Holy Ghost, and I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you. Oh, my dear sister, it says, with knowledge and understanding. Oh, and, and Estella, the devil don't want you to have knowledge and understanding. Oh, he don't want you to read your Bible. He wants dust on your Bible. Can I go there this morning? When you fall down on your knees and open your Bible, you will cause the devil stress. 
You know, the devil gets stressed sometimes. Yeah, when you start reading the word of God and meditating on the word of God. So I'm going to fast sometime. And I'm going to turn down my plate. And I'm going to dig in this word. I'm going to stretch out before God. That's when the devil gets stressed. But he loves great big Bibles sitting on coffee tables with a whole lot of dust on top of it. Brand new pages. You never have cracked it open. He said, that's a very pretty Bible. Don't open it up. It looks, looks too pretty to open. Can I go there this morning? You got to protect your head this morning. Can I go there this morning? Somebody shout, protect your mind. Protect your mind. Oh, he'll come at you with suicide spirit, low self-esteem, evil thoughts. But you got to protect your mind. Y'all don't hear me this morning. Jesus told Peter, you got to feed the sheep so they can be protected. Can I back it up this morning? John chapter 21 and verse number 17. Ah, can I go there? He saith unto him the third time. So somebody tells him three times, they want you to get it, don't they? Somebody shout third time. Third time. Somebody shout third time. Third time. Let's do it three times. Somebody say third time. Third time. Three times for the third time. I'm trying to become a poet up here. Come on, live somebody. He said unto him the third time, Simon, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Can I go there? Amen. Peter was grieved. Because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Can I go there? Thou knowest that I love thee. Come on, somebody. Can I go there? Jesus said unto him, feed my sheep. Can I go there? If you love me, oh, I got you now. If you love me, then feed my sheep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can I go there? Another place says, if you love me, keep my commandments. Yes, sir. Now to his disciple, he says, if you love me, then feed my sheep. Ah, that's the gospel. Take care of them. How do you take care of them? Feed my sheep. How can they guard their mind? Feed my sheep. How can they be protected? Feed my sheep. How can you ensure that they make it through? Feed my sheep. Somebody give Holy Ghost a hand clap this morning. Can I go there this morning? Somebody shout, protect your mind. The sheep need the word of God to protect their mind. Well, what's, what's so good about this word of God? The word of God will make you wise. The word of God will guide you. Can I go there? If you are weak, the word of God will make you strong. Can I go there? The word of God will encourage you. Can I go there? The word of God will build you up. Oh, I was at a praying church this morning. The word of God will give you favor. Can I go there this morning? The word of God will bless you. Can I go there this morning? If you wake up with the I don't feel like it, you'll feel like it after you read the word of God. Can I go there this morning? The word of God will assist you. Can I go there? The, the word of God will give you the will of God. Can I go there? Whatever you need, the word of God will give you. Oh, can I talk about a good shepherd this morning? Let me take that back. Not a good shepherd. Let me talk about the good shepherd. <laughs> can I go there this morning? Can I go there? You might as well say, yes, I'm going there. Psalms chapter 23, verses 2 and 3. Can I go there? He maketh me uh, to lie down 
Can I go there? In green, in green pastor. Yes, sir. Dr. Jackson, not just pastors. Not just pastors. Some pastors are brown. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but this is green pastor. Green pastor. And he leaves me beside what? Still water. Still water. Yes, sir. Oh, Brother Russell, I heard that if the waters flow too fast, yeah, yeah. that the sheep will get scared. That's right. Can I go there this morning? So a good shepherd will look out there and try to find some still waters. Yeah. Am I right about it this morning? Yes, Can I go there this morning? Yeah, Can I go there this morning? Some days I don't feel good, yeah. but I heard you hear, in the book, book. it said he restores my soul. Yeah. Can I go there this morning? So every now and then, I need my soul restored. And nobody can restore it but Jesus. Am I right about it? Every now and then, I need direction. Yes, can sir. I go there this morning? He leadeth me. I need some help right there. In the past. Does path got an S on it? Oh, uh, there's many paths out there. Many paths. And he knows the right path. Yes, sir. Just for me. Yes, and just for you. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness. Yes, sir. Come on, somebody. Somebody shout for his name's sake. Yeah, y'all sound weak this morning. I'm somebody on. shout his name's sake. Name. Come on, eat them Cheerios and shout his name, say. Yeah, I feel it this morning. I feel it this morning. How many y'all feel like running this morning? Run Shouting this morning. Shout. Praising this morning. Thanking this morning. Lifting this morning. Oh, do you have it in you this morning? Stir this morning. Ah, oh, I used to hear Mother Nuna Carol when she run the floor. He says, stir Lord, stir Lord, stir Lord. Somebody shout, stir Lord this morning. Oh, he's stirring this morning. Well, there's a good shepherd. And there's the good shepherd. Can I tell you about the good shepherd this morning? John chapter 10 and verse number 11. Oh, can I go there this morning? Or I just want Dr. Jackson to be a good shepherd. Yes, sir. But I know there's only one the good shepherd. The good shepherd. Can I talk about the good shepherd this the morning? Yes, sir. He says, I am. I am. Somebody shout, I am, I am the good shepherd. Well, this is why he is the good shepherd. He says, the good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. Can I go there this morning? Well, the reason why I'm a good shepherd dear sister and not the good shepherd if i were to shed my blood it won't do anybody any good <laughs> can i go this morning but the good shepherd he died on the cross of calvary for all of our sins uh, his blood can do everybody some good am i right about it this morning well, I'm getting ready to come on in, y'all. Yeah, hallelujah. <laughs> the leaders in Micah's day were guilty. Yes, sir. The prince was guilty. The ruler was guilty. The prophet was guilty. The priest was guilty. Uh, can I go there this morning? The rulers were guilty. They were ruthless leaders. They took advantage of the poor. Well, God hands out a sentence that I would not want to ever happen to myself or you either. Can I go there this morning? God says, I'm not going to answer your prayers anymore. Oh, dear saint of God. Yes. I got a word for you this morning. Uh, it's hell when you do not have the presence of God. Uh, what makes hell so bad is not the fire it is the absence of God uh, can I go there this morning anytime you do not have God in your life you are living in hell can I go there this morning uh, God says because you're doing this to the poor 
to the needy, to the defenseless, to the widow, to the orphan. Can I go there this morning? He said, I'm not going to answer your prayer. Can I go there this morning? He takes his gavel and hit down on the ground. Your prayers will not be answered. Yes, Can I go there this morning? The worst thing in the world is to be without God. Can I go there this morning? If you want to know what a living hell is, is not to be able to hear from God. Can I, can I get ready to land right here? Well, Micah chapter 3, mm, verse number 4. Uh, this is in that first section, you all. It says, then shall they cry unto the Lord. Y'all don't hear me? But he will not hear them. Can I go there this morning? He will even hide his face from them at that time. That's hell right there. As they have behaved themselves ill in their doings. Can I go there this morning? Hell is the absence of God. Can I go there this morning? The misdeeds by these leaders provoke the wrath of God. God is saying no more words from me. Can I go there this morning? And nothing that you say will I hear. Can I go there this morning? The heavens will be like brass. Can I go there this morning? Your prayers will go up and come right back down. Can I go there this morning? When you do not have God in your life, you are living in hell. Can I go there this morning? The Bible says you will cry out to God and God will not hear you and that will put you in anguish oh can I go there this morning you will cry out for deliverance and God will not hear you can I go there this morning you will reap what you sow can I go there this morning Micah said because you refuse to hear the cry of the needy God will refuse to hear your cry. Can I break that down? Can I bag it up? Can I, can I give you a word on it? Jeremiah 11, 11. Somebody shout 11, 11. The Bible says, Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be able to, to escape and though they shall cry unto me I will not hearken unto them that is a living hell when you in misery and you cry out to God and God refuses to hear you when God refuses to allow you to have his presence that is living hell and some of you this morning are living in hell because you don't have the presence of God. Can I go there this morning? Can I go there this morning? Proverbs chapter 21 and verse number 13. The Bible says, can I go there? Whoso stoppeth his ears at the cry of the poor, he also shall cry himself but shall not be heard. Can you imagine in agony and crying out to God and God says, I'm not going to hear you. Can you imagine desiring God and wanting God and God says, no, you're not going to have my presence ever again. Beloved, that is hell. A place without God is hell. Can I go there? How you treat others, be careful. Mm. You will be treated the same way in the end. Can I go there this morning? 
Y'all got to hear me this morning. Because I don't give a land my plane, but I got to land it real good. Be careful how you treat other people. Because God is saying, I saw it. You may get away from every human eye. But Micah says this morning, God is saying, I saw it. And I ain't going to hear you no more. And worse than that, I ain't going to allow you to have my presence anymore. And I made you. And the Spirit is putting this in my spirit. Life without God is hell. It is. And can't hear from him? Oh, glory. I'm coming in, y'all. First Peter chapter 3, verse 7. Let's get ready to land. Take that neighbor. Be careful how you treat other folks. Can I bring it on in? Likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them. Talking about the wives, according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife, as unto the weaker vessel, and as being heirs together of the grace of life. Now, this last phrase. I want to amplify that so big so that you will hear that for the rest of your life. That last phrase. That your prayers be not hindered. In other words, what you do in private and you think that you got away with it, God says, I saw you. And because of that, I ain't going to hear your prayers. And beloved, the worst thing that could happen to me in the world would be if God says, you're not going to have my presence and see my face anymore. That's it. Nothing on this earth is worse than that. God through Michael is saying with his gavel down, I ain't going to hear you no more. And not only that, I'm leaving y'all. Go. Can I land? Nothing's worse than to be without the presence of God in your life and for God to say I won't hear you no more we don't want that to happen in our life we don't want to be without God be careful how you treat others because God is saying I saw you nobody else saw you but I saw you and I will do this what I said in this book I'm going to come back and pray for you pray real good for you but I'm going to ask Reverend Dr. J. Dwight Jackson to minister in song and I want to pray that everybody have God in their lives through Jesus Christ Dr. Jackson blesses in song
just a closer walk with thee. Mm -hmm. Grant, grant it, Jesus, if, if you please. Day, daily walking close to thee, yes, Lord, just let it be, dear Lord, let, let it be. I am weak, but thou, thou art strong. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, you keep me, you keep me from all wrong. Oh, yes, you do. You know, oh, oh, I, oh, I'll be satisfied, satisfied and long, yes, long as, as I walk, dear Lord, close to thee. Every head bowed, every eye closed. Did you hear what that songwriter said? I'll be satisfied as long as I walk close to thee. Having God in your life is life. And you can only have God the Father in your life yes, sir. through the Son, Jesus Christ. With every eye closed in that audience out there, just pray after me, dear Jesus, forgive me of all my sins. I confess you as my Savior and my Lord. I believe you died for my sins on the cross of Calvary. I call you Lord of my life. I believe that God raised you from the dead for me. And today I open my heart to receive you in because I want life. You came that I might have life and I want life. Come into my life and give me life. Give me the Holy Spirit that I might have life. To others of you who are out there who are already in Christ Jesus, hear me beloved as a shepherd, not the good shepherd, just a shepherd. Guard your minds through the word of God. Read the word of God every day. Three, three chapters a day if you can. Three chapters a day. Pray every day for fellowship with God. Let God protect your mind and protect your life. And then let him bless your life. He, he wants to bless your life. Let him on in there. Let him on in there. And then get the family in there. Share this good gospel. Don't keep it to yourself. Share this good news that Jesus died, Jesus rose with somebody else. And then give them your testimony. Nobody can beat you telling your testimony. Now let me pray a blessing on you. Lord, all the sheep who are hearing your voice, bless them. Salvation, health, finances, family, ministry, 
bless their lives and bless it real good. Now, Lord, to you be all the praises. I'm hearing you say in the spirit, I saw you. You be all the glory. You be all the honor. You be all the thanksgiving. In Jesus' name we pray. We say amen, amen, amen. God bless you all. I love you all. Till I see you again. Amen. Through this world of toils and snares. Oh, so many snares, Lord. If I falter, Lord, nobody cares. Mm. Who with me my burden shares? Yeah, Lord, none but thee. Yeah.